Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to solve equations with derivatives. Here we're given three pieces of information about a function. We know that the second derivative of y with respect to x is 6x. We know that dy dx is equal to 30 when x equals 3. And we know that f of 1 is equal to 5. First, let's try to rewrite these pieces of information to look similar to this notation. Well, this first one, you can say f double prime of x is equal to 6x. And here, this is equivalent to saying f prime of 3 is equal to 30. And this is enough information to determine what f of x is. Let's start by taking the antiderivative of both sides of this equation, or rather this equation. Integral of f double prime of x dx equals the integral of 6x dx. So here on the left side, we get f prime of x. And on the right side, we get 3x squared plus some constant c, which we don't know yet. But we can use this piece of information to determine the value of c. So let's see here. f prime of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 squared plus c. 3 squared is equal to 9. And 3 times 9 is 27. And we also know that this is equal to 30. Well, from here, we can quite, quick, quite quickly deduce that c is equal to 3. Since 27 plus 3 equals 30. Great. So now we can unambiguously determine what f prime of x is. We'll write that over here. f prime of x is equal to 3x squared plus 3. Great. Next we want to determine an equation for f of x. And we'll do the same process. We'll integrate both sides of this equation. The integral of f prime of x dx is equal to the integral of 3x squared plus 3 dx. Here we get f of x. Here we get x cubed plus 3x plus some unknown constant. We'll call it k this time, just to avoid confusion. But again, we have enough information to determine what k is, since we know that f of 1 equals 5. So we'll plug that in. f of 1 equals 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 plus k, which we know is equal to 5. So 1 cubed is just 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus k equals 5. Well, 1 plus 3 is just 4. So we can quickly see that k is 1. And so now we have all the information we need to determine what f of x is. f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x plus 1. Now from here, if you want to check that your work is correct, what you can do is take the derivative of f of x twice and make sure that you get the equations that we started with. 
And if that's true, then you've done everything correctly. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to solve equations with derivatives.